My boyfriend thinks someone else could have clapped my cheeks and asked for a paternity test, I'm leaving. I have a boyfriend of three years who is the first person, relationship-wise, I have ever loved, and I thought we were doing great as parents and partners. I'm a new mom to a baby boy who is my pride and joy, and though it's been a roller coaster adjusting to taking care of a baby, the past few months have been great, tiring but great. On Friday, he came home and asked me for a paternity test. Just like that, it was completely out of the blue. I was putting away the dishes and he asked for one like he was asking what was for dinner. I'm a different race from him, but our child, apart from the skin tone, is literally a mirror image of him from pictures I had seen of him when he was a baby. I was stunned when he asked, and his reasons were that he had to be sure he was the father, he had to have that certainty. All I remember as he was speaking is just immediately feeling pain. The man I love doesn't trust me. He would actually believe that I would sleep with someone else, cheat on him, and then try to pass off another man's baby as his. I have never given him reason to think I would cheat on him. I have tried to be transparent and communicative, and it wasn't enough. He told me he would give me time to think about this, that he wouldn't go behind my back and do this test, but for our relationship to move forward, he needs to be 100% sure. He repeated this because he, in his words, needed me to realize how serious he was. After thinking for a couple of days, I'm going to allow him this paternity test because I have nothing to hide. I never cheated and would have never cheated on him. Once it's proven that he's the father, I'm ending it, leaving the same day, and I am going to try my best to be a cooperative co-parent with him. In the meantime, I'm coming up with my exit plan, a place to live, and a lawyer to work out a custody arrangement in court. I can't even tell my family or my friends right now because they would go nuclear, and my first priority is our child. I hope the test was worth it to him. I'm not asking for advice or reassurance or to explain his side. I'm just realizing this part of my life is now over. What a way to start the new year huh? Update 1. When I made the first post, I was so angry and planned to leave, but the anger was quickly replaced by hurt once I calmed down. I realized if I blindsided him like that, I would be doing the exact same thing that he did to me when he asked for a paternity test. I planned to ask him to talk, but I also didn't want him to think I was trying to get out of the test. So beforehand, I booked an appointment at two different paternity test locations. I asked him to talk when he came home, and I made sure our child was at my mom's. I told him that whatever happened with this talk, the paternity tests had been booked and would go forward. I basically asked him his reasoning and when he started having doubts about paternity. Was it a previous relationship? Did cheating happen? He said it was about a week before he asked me that he started having doubts. He said that he was on his lunch break one day just reading articles, and he clicked on an old article about a man who found out his three kids weren't his after like 20 years. This led him into a rabbit hole of podcasters and YouTube videos that encouraged men to ask for paternity tests. While he thought those podcasters were idiots, he said that paternity was an exception. His reasoning was that some women have done this before and he wanted to be sure. His exact words were, you know it's yours because the baby comes out of you but how do I know? The test gives me that assurance. I was hurt by that, but I decided to explain how I felt. I said that for him, it was a rational request, but for me, it was basically him saying that he didn't trust me. It was him saying that he believed I would cheat on him, get pregnant, have him emotionally, financially, and physically support me during the pregnancy and birth, and basically lie to him while he raised another man's child. I told him that I understand that women had done this before, but the fact that he thought I would do this to him is what bothered me. I told him the truth, that when I was angry, I had planned to leave and that I even went looking for a lawyer, a co-parenting plan, and a new place to live. He was stunned that I would leave for something so small. I found that it to be a weird kind of irony, that he believed issuing an ultimatum about a paternity test and basically accusing your partner of cheating was something small. I told him I was really hurt by what he said, that I was still hurt, but that if he needs this peace of mind, that we would do it. He asked, what about our relationship? I don't know. We did the test two days later and got the results back after three days. He opened both of them, and to the surprise of no one, he's the dad. He was visibly relieved when he read the results, and I don't know why but that hurt more. Our son is his mirror image. My boyfriend confided in his cousin about the paternity test a couple of days after he asked me, and the cousin told his wife, and it spread like wildfire, especially in their family group chats. His mom put an end to the speculation by doing a half-and-half -half photo collage of him and our son, but also adding some additional individual pics of both of them. She posted the pictures in the family group chat and said, look at the old pictures I found of Mason. After people commented, she said, actually, the one on the right is my grandchild, or this one isn't Mason. Literally, the family members just thought that it was the same person in all of the photos, and that some of them were taken in darker lighting. That is how much our son looks like him, which I find funny but also a little annoying, like I carried you for 9 months, all for you to be a copy of your dad. I didn't see the group chat, but the topic died down when his mom did that. It's been about 2 weeks since the results, and I'm still really hurt. I feel pathetic. I thought the results would maybe relieve some of that, but it didn't. It's like a switch clicked when he asked for the test, and I can't find a way to click it off. I'm pretty sure postpartum is playing a part in this because all I do is cry and I wasn't like this before. 
I have also moved into the spare room, something he was against, but I felt bad because apart from when our son is awake, I'm sad all the time. We're both looking for a therapist to try couples therapy, he already has a few appointments booked. He wants to move on, marriage, more kids in the future, and go back to where we were and thinks that our relationship is stronger now. I have the opposite thoughts, I think our relationship right now is weaker than a person on stilts. I don't know if I would say we are together. The physical affection is gone, I'm not in the right mindset, and I don't want him to touch me. We rarely talk about anything but the baby, it's awkward, and I'm trying to find a way back to where we were and I can't see how. I'm going to try to fix this and try therapy, but I just have this feeling that this is basically a sinking ship. I hope I'm wrong. I very much want to be wrong. Update 2. I left. Things have gone downhill and under advisement, I can't really discuss it until things have been settled in court. I guess I'm really a cautionary tale on what can go wrong.